For this problem, we want to use transformations and the graph of f of x equals the log base 2 of x to graph g of x equals the negative log base 2 of negative x plus 1 minus 2. g of x equals negative f of negative x minus 1 minus 2. The negative function means that we reflect the graph over the x-axis. So our new points are at 2, negative 1, and 1, 0 remains the same. Connecting these points, we get the graph of negative f of x. Subtracting 2 from the function means that we will shift our new graph down by 2 units. So our new points are at 2, negative 3, and 1, negative 2. Connecting these points, we get the graph of negative f of x minus 2. The negative x means that we will reflect the new graph over the y-axis. So our new points are at negative 1, negative 2, and negative 2, negative 3. Connecting these points, we get the graph of negative f of negative x minus 2. Subtracting 1 from x means that we will shift our new graph to the right by 1 unit. So our new points are at negative 1, negative 3, and 0, negative 2. Also notice that the asymptote on the y-axis also shifts to the right by one unit. So connecting these points, we get the graph of g of x, and this is the final answer.